The Dawning is the new live event coming to the game from December 13th to January 3rd. This video should contain everything we currently know about the event. Before we get started though, I do need to let you all know that Activision and Bungie paid for my flights to and from PlayStation Experience as well as my entry to the event. FTC, please don't sue me. This video will also contain some footage of the revamped strikes in the event. If you want to experience the strikes for yourself blind, then I urge you to just not watch the video, or open another tab and play it in the background so you can still get some useful information. Now, on to actual information. As I stated before, the dawning will be from the 13th of December to January 3rd. It will feature the return of Sparrow Racing League as well as many other features added to the game. As far as Sparrow Racing League is concerned, there are two new tracks this year. The two older tracks from last year are also going to be in the rotation, so you will be able to race on four total. The two new tracks are in the Snowy Cosmodrome and Mercury. I'll leave a links to full gameplay of those in the description if you're interested in seeing how the tracks actually play. The Sparrow Racing game mode will also stay around in private matches once the event is over. If you own Rise of Iron, you will have all four tracks to choose from. However, if you only own the Taken King, you can only do private matches on the two older tracks. Strike scoring is also a long-awaited feature that is being added in with this patch. Strike scoring is available in the SIVA Crisis, SIVA Heroic, and Nightfall playlists. The scoring system will stick around after the event as well. There will be daily and weekly Vanguard Elite bounties focused on these playlists and scoring system. The Nightfall will also have a new weekly bounty associated with it that uses this scoring system. As far as what rewards come from this particular bounty, we do know that you can get the new Year 3 Icebreaker from this bounty. Speaking of exotics, there are two new exotics coming with this patch, as well as ornaments for five current exotics. The two new exotics are the long-fabled Solar and Void Thunderlord variants called Abaddon and Nova Mortis. I got to use them for a little bit and they are exactly like Thunderlord, except Solar and Void damage associated with them. You can get these from quests. How you activate those quests is unknown right now, though. There will be ornaments for Icebreaker. The last word. Red Death. Thorn, and Black Spindle. Ornaments are also getting a small revamp. Instead of having to completely rely on RNG, there will now be a store slash kiosk thing at the tower that will sell every previous event ornament for 25 silver dust. So, if you've been chasing after a certain ornament, you can just buy it. As a result, Xur will no longer sell specific ornaments. Prices of these ornaments do not change regardless of if you have them or not. The entire dawning event also has a record book associated with it. It is free this time though, and will have tracking for both Sparrow Racing League and the strike scoring. The book will stay around after the event ends also. As part of the ranking up of this book, you can get tags for certain NPC vendors as a reward. These tags can be turned into their respective vendor for rewards. What these rewards actually are, we don't actually know at this time. There are a few other small tidbits of information. There are three revamped SIVA strikes coming with this event. The Omnigol, Tanix, and Nexus strikes have all been redone. Omnigol and Tanix are Sivified, and the Nexus actually has two separate versions, one being Normal Vex, and the other featuring Taken. The end fight against the Nexus is actually completely different depending on which one you get. It has two entirely different mechanics to complete the fight, which I really enjoyed seeing. These next two things are fairly small changes, but it does change the game in very good and huge ways. Green engrams will no longer decrypt into armor and weapons. Instead, as long as you are level 40, they will decrypt into armor and weapon parts. So no more going into your inventory and having to dismantle stuff. Well, at least no more having to dismantle greens at least. The other final thing is that skeleton keys are having their drop rates improved. We don't know how much they're going up or what ways they are actually improving it, but, you know, any improvement is good. And that's it for the information regarding the dawning. At least, that's what we know right now. I had a blast playing all this stuff at PlayStation Experience, and I really can't wait for this event to actually go live. It felt so much closer to what a live event should actually be for Destiny. Most of the playable content is actually sticking around in some form after the event ends, and the revamped strikes feel like a huge step up from what the live team normally puts out. 
There were actual mechanics involved in the fights, and that felt so rewarding to complete, and I can't wait to actually see some more skeleton keys drop for me. I hope I covered everything, but I am probably missing something. Oh well. If you want to see full playthroughs of the Strikes or Sparrow Racing tracks, check out the description or these end cards. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later.